This game player strategy tape is full of hints, tips, and playing strategies. To get the most from this tape, we suggest you first read the manual that comes with the cartridge and also have some experience playing the game. Good luck from the editors and game players at Game Players Magazines. Welcome to Ninja Gaiden Game Player. Your weapons and your skill with them are keys to this game. You have your sword. To collect strength and weapons, you must get these. Some are of little use. Others you must have to beat a particular enemy. This tape will help you learn these skills. Your sword is an important weapon, but your ability to jump and leap is too. Practice on this level. Here's one of your best weapons, the fire wheel. Remember, it uses up spiritual strength. And here's an invincible fire wheel. It's the best weapon for speed. Watch. Unfortunately, it only lasts a few seconds. This time freeze stops the enemies for five seconds. You really don't need this one. Another very useful weapon, the windmill throwing star. Here's how it works. These guys are bad if they ever punch you. They get very aggressive. You need to get them fast. In Jay's bar, you must defeat the barbarian. Run up and stab him, then jump on the wall. Watch. Our ninja has reached the outpost. Your jumping is very important here. Practice using the different weapons. This area isn't too bad. Your progress needs to become smooth and fast. Here's a series of well-timed jumps. Here's a jump and slash. Unlike other weapons, you use this every time you jump. And you use up energy fast. Be careful. Now for Death Valley. There are several rough spots here. Hint, if you stand on the left edge, you can kill this reaper with your sword before you jump across. Timing becomes more critical now. This is one of the hardest parts of this area. You must get the invincible fire wheel, then hurry. This fire wheel is very important. Unfortunately, our ninja has very little energy left. With these five points, he only gets to use the fire wheel once. And he misses the reaper and has to get by the hard way. Try to hit Bomberhead when he has his sickle and chain high in the air. You can get some protection up the wall. Crystal Lake isn't a nice place to visit. You get to meet your first birds. Here's a helpful time freeze. Watch for cougars coming from behind. Your sword works fine here. These small steps are hard. Watch out for the hawk.
This world ends at Yomi's Cave. We're in the Lizard Mountains now. You must go quickly here to avoid the bazooka fire. Get this windmill throwing star. You'll need it shortly. Here's one use. And here's another. You must get this fire wheel to survive Yomi's cave. The best way to get hawks is to duck, then turn, kneel, and stab them. Watch out for the cougar here, then time your jump carefully. You'll meet Basa Quare in Yomi's cave. He's tough. Try to get here with full power and a lot of energy. You'll need the fire wheel we showed you. Where you stand is crucial too. Our ninja just ran out of spiritual strength, but manages to finish him off. We're in the Amazon. Your skills should now be sufficient to play through these areas. We'll help with the tricky spots. This spider is an extra life, don't miss it. Here's an invincible fire wheel, it can really help. Watch out for the hawk here. Jump and let the cougar run past. The Boslisk minefield, you'll have to beat several new adversaries here. The time freeze will help you get across the bridge. We've reached the Hall of Demons. Here's a good technique sequence. Get this windmill throwing star for it. Then climb jump to here and be patient. This restores physical energy. You must get this windmill throwing star for the next level. Run toward the middle here, so you can use your fire wheel or sword. Wait for them to land. Once you exhaust your energy, use your sword. The prison of the dead is a hard area. Again, your speed is a factor here, but so is your patience. The cliffs aren't too bad. Work your way to here. You'll need this invincible fire wheel. And here's another energy restore. Make your way across the East Tower's outer wall to here, the place of red execution. This really isn't too bad either. Go in close and slash as fast as you can. Be careful not to touch him with your body. The Death Bridge. Collect as much spiritual strength as you can here. You'll need it. Welcome to the Temple of Darkness. The action is fast and constant here. You'll need this windmill throwing star. For here. Here's a new enemy. Jump and stab him. Make sure you get this jump and slash. and this strength. Here's another invincible fire wheel you must have. You're almost there.
Now we're in the Hall of Judgment. You must concentrate on collecting spiritual strength. You have to leave this level with at least 96 units to win. Restore your physical energy. Here's a bad spot. You can see why the time freeze is useful. But you have to get to it. Kill the jumper in the air and run for it. You must get this fire wheel. You should arrive here with the fire wheel. Attack the red nose. Keep shooting as fast as you can. If you run out of energy, use your sword. Good luck. This is just practice for what's ahead. Now you must face Jockeyo. Here's how our ninja does it. You'll need to arrive here with at least 96 units of spiritual strength and the fire wheel. Avoid Jockeyo's fire by running in the opposite direction, then turn and fire at it. In the final area, you are attacked by the demon statue come to life. Again, you must have fire and great spiritual strength. The head will fall off. It's frightening, but not too damaging. Now, as for how the story ends, well, we'll just let you discover that. Get the power to move with the Acclaim wireless remote for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The Acclaim remote gets you mobile in a WrestleMania grudge match. Flying Airwolf, the Acclaim remote's rapid fire mode means higher scores per mission. In the battle for Iron Sword, seconds count. So you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Accurate up to 30 feet. The official wireless remote controller, licensed by Nintendo, created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim remote, the power to move. A turbo controller really helps in this game. And it's a good idea to start with Metal Man, so you can get his buzzsaw. Keep jumping near these jack-in-the-boxes. They're not really dangerous, but they speed up if you don't jump. Keep shooting and jumping here. And the floor changes direction, so you might suddenly be heading the wrong way. Get these robots before they stomp you. Fall down the right side and grab the energy ball in the corner. The giant robot can't get to you if you hide in the lower right corner. Near the end of this part of the Flashman's maze, try to stay along the top. But if you do fall, keep moving and stay away from the robots. Flashman's not too hard to beat because he'll mostly just run after you. He doesn't jump much. Just keep moving. Don't let the gorilla robot distract you from the flying fish with eggs. If those eggs hatch, you'll have lots of little flying fish to worry about. Keep on shooting. Try to shoot when he's thrown his shield at you. But if you are hit, you can't be hurt for a couple of seconds, so you should try to run up to him. Get going. You don't know which blocks will move, so run fast. Go slower underwater. The exhaust bubbles are deadly, so don't jump too high. But do jump sooner than you normally do. Grab these energy balls. If you're shot, you'll start to flash, and you can run through the fish without getting hurt.
shoot the lobster for extra life, and be whoever has the least energy so he gets more energy. Shoot the lobsters for extra life, and be whoever has the least energy so he gets more energy. Now let's go on to the next foe. Don't climb the ladder until you've cleared away these flyers. You could fall down several levels. If you can, use the airman's weapon against Crash Man. Two shots will do it. Otherwise, prepare for a rough fight. Watch out for these clouds. They hide flying fish with eggs. You'll lose energy if they drop on you while you're in the clouds. These cloud devils have horns. Plan your jumps to avoid them. Ouch! If you're Woodman, you can destroy Airman with two hits. Keep moving and jumping. Stay to the right as you fall and you'll get extra men and more power for your weapon. Be Flashman here so you can freeze time. Watch. Now. Then grab the energy booster. It's good to be Airman when you fight with Quick Man. Quick Man jumps, and the small whirlwinds you throw will spread out and get him. There's a pattern to the way these blocks appear and disappear. Learn how to jump with the pattern. You'll need to know the pattern of the disappearing blocks here. And then when you're almost across, use your jet sled to get past the fiery pit. Okay. Bubble Man is your best weapon against Heat Man. Jump over the flying torch, then turn and shoot a bubble at it. Use the levitation platforms that you got from Heat Man, but you can only use three at one time. It's the dragon in Dr. Wily's castle. Hit him in the head to get rid of him. Being Quick Man is a good choice here. Use the ladder on the right to get extra energy and extra men. It's not an easy jump, but it's well worth the trouble. This room full of flying blocks is tricky. Try to stand where the blocks have already left. Quick Man's boomerangs are great here. You did it! Fire at this guy by using Quick Man to hit him in the forehead. He's not as tough as he looks. One shot! Watch out for hidden gaps in these platforms. 
To reach the energy, go to the right of the screen and ride up an elevator. Sometimes it's better just to drop off a ladder instead of climbing down slowly. Here, change to Mega Man, and then drop to the bottom before that robot can get to the left side of the screen. This is one of the toughest rooms in the whole game. We'll look at this carefully. Use the levitation platform to start. You'll also use your elevator in this room. Now watch how it's done. Don't use up your bombs too fast. After they're gone, you're gone. If you can, find a way to get around a wall without blowing it up. Congratulations! Now it's just you against Dr. Wiley. But remember, this isn't the end of the game. Good luck! You're almost there! Supersonic is the number one bet! It's got no wires, it's a one to get! Arcade action is where you'll be! Supersonic will set you free! No wires! It works with Nintendo, it will do! Games for players one and two. Higher scores is what you'll see. Supersonic will set you free. Your wires. Supersonic. Wait down here for these ninjas. This will keep them from ganging up on you. This swordsman jumps back and forth. Stay in the middle and catch him when he lands. To defeat the first super warrior, use jumping spin kicks. When he raises his arms, he'll shoot fire, so back off quickly. Watch your footing while on top of the truck. If you fall onto the road, be prepared to lose some energy. Keep moving towards the middle of the screen. Ninjas will try to ambush you on the sides. Build up a flame punch by holding down the A button for three to four seconds, but make sure you're not about to be attacked. Be on the lookout for red ninjas. Anytime you kill one, they'll leave a valuable weapon behind. Time to face the second Super Warrior. Move to the middle of the screen and duck down. Keep stabbing at him with the knife and you're bound to get it. Ambush! The ninjas are out in full force and they're ready to fight. Don't overlook this cola, it can replenish your energy. The third boss won't come after you until you destroy all of his henchmen. When he does approach, start stabbing him. Don't let up until he stops to meditate. Then move to the corner farthest away from him. He reappears several times, but don't give up. Patience is the key. You've got one shot at this nasty character, so you better make it count. Pick up the nunchucks. They have a longer reach than the knife. Thank you. 
Jumping spin kicks are the best techniques to use against the fourth super warrior. For every two kicks you give him, however, you'll get one drop kick in return. You can avoid his kicks by keeping to the left of the screen. Once the coast is clear, go back and dish out some more punishment. You're moving again, this time by train. Get to the middle of the screen to ward off attack and watch your step. You don't want to fall off the train. Good weapons are harder to find in these later stages, but they're crucial to your survival. If you do fall on the road, be quick about getting back on board the train, or you'll never see the next stage. Be sure to kill the Red Ninja. He leaves you nunchucks. You could use spin kicks to destroy the ghost of the first super warrior, but try your nunchucks instead, they're faster. A cola appears at this spot each time you play. Normally a clock doesn't help much, but it's a lifesaver on this stage. This super warrior swings a deadly chain. Are you tough enough to take him on? Here's a hint. Remember how you defeated the first super warrior? The same strategy works here. This may be the most difficult place in the game. It combines all of the dangers you've faced before, plus spikes that fall from the ceiling. Avoid them by taking the lower path whenever you can. Get rid of this swordsman as soon as possible. It's best to try when no other ninjas are ready to attack. Make this cola last. The next one's a long way off. Time your jumps carefully and don't land on the thorns. They drain your energy supply. You're almost out of the cave, but you've still got plenty of ninjas, spikes, and thorns to worry about. To triumph over the fifth super warrior, you need to stay on the left side of the screen and use the same tactics that helped you kill the second super warrior. You've made it to the final stage, but it's not over yet. And don't be surprised if you run into all of the super warriors you've already beaten. To kill these ninjas, get in close and duck down. Take the high road to avoid trouble. It's the elevator. Don't get too close. The first time you fought the super warrior, you spin kicked him to death. This time, duck and use your nunchucks. You need to change your techniques for this super warrior too. Forget your earlier method of fighting and stay in close while kicking him.
the last super warrior looks fearsome, but is he? Try some low kicks against him and find out. Good luck, dude. When you really want to get into the game, get Tengen RBI Baseball. The only video game licensed by the Major League Baseball Players Association for your Nintendo. It's you and the pros for Roger Clemens here. Flash Vince Coleman the steal sign. Let Gibson swing for the fences. It's going, going, go! RBI Baseball, the one the pros pick. Don't waste your valuable bullets on these tarantulas. Just avoid them. You can walk under some mushrooms to save bullets. Wait for the bird here, or he'll get you. This tarantula always has a mega key. Shoot snakes before they can jump on you. Megagon can use lasers, and this lion man often leaves one-ups. When the wasps fire at you, you might need to jump back. Shoot the mushrooms before you try to cross the water. Be prepared to shoot more than one bird at a time. These tarantulas hold bullet magazines. Take cover. When you fight Lionhead, it's best to use lasers, jump over or dodge his fire, and when he has two faces and comes down, punch him. Most of these mosquitoes will give you bullets. You don't have to fight the elephants if you travel through the treetops. If you keep walking left here, these elephants will drift away and you won't have to fight them. Stay near the turtle's head at first, then you can move down to his back and dodge the bee's bullets. Don't jump too high here, or the porcupine will get you. Move so these elephants are together. That way you won't waste bullets or lasers. In Zone 2-2, both bees and moles have bullets for you. Wait until these frogs fall, then nail them. After these moles fall, jump on the turtle and don't jump until a mole is about to hit you. Shoot or punch at the devil tree's eyes, but don't touch them. And shoot the bats, they might give you a prize. Walk to the left to lose these alligators, just as you did with the elephants earlier. These snails have lots of bullets for you. Keep 
shooting at the eyes, and the hippo demon will appear at the end of zone 3. Use lasers if you've got them. You've got to kill everything on the screen to finish zone 4-1. Watch out for these blue devils. They'll sneak up behind you. This skeleton falls apart. With enough lasers, you can finish him. Jump fast. Some of these blocks are loose in Zone 5-1. Jump on his cloud and the dinosaur will jump off, then punch him. To complete Zone 5-2, shoot the Megasaurus's horn. It's his weak spot. If you're Megagon, just jump over these cosmic men in Zone 6. You need as many Mega Points as possible to win Amagon, so knock off these lobsters before they jump at you. It's the alien! Shoot his star and keep moving to defeat him. If you like this game tape, you'll love Game Player's Pro Tip Hotline. Now you can hear the tips you want to know just by pushing a button on your telephone. To hear this tip again, press 1. For another game tip, press 2. For our classic tips, press 3. Each week, our game players' experts choose the best hints and tips for three hot games for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Just dial and select which secrets you want to hear. Every week, we'll change the games and the hints. Try it today. Your mission in Airwolf is to rescue prisoners held in enemy territory. Your attack helicopter is armed with machine guns and missiles. If you spot this enemy control tower, destroy it immediately. Otherwise, the enemy will launch more planes against you. One trick to rescuing prisoners is to avoid air combat, find the prisoner, and get away as soon as possible. During a rescue, be sure to lower your landing gear, otherwise you'll crash when you touch the ground. Stay away from the bursting bombs in the sky so you don't get blown up. If your helicopter is damaged, you can stop for repairs. Near the end of the game, more enemy planes take to the air to shoot you out of the sky. Try flying faster to avoid them.
shoot these missile launchers on the ground before they can fire missiles at you. Pay attention to the map on your radar screen. It shows where prisoners and enemy airfields are located. The map can also guide you to repair bases. In the higher stages of Airwolf, there are more prisoners to rescue. You must save all prisoners before returning to base. If you enjoyed this great game tape, you'll really enjoy Game Players Magazine. Every exciting issue is packed full of hints, tips, and playing strategies, just like the ones on this game tape. You can order a dream subscription to both Game Player's Guide to Nintendo Games and Game Player's Magazine, a total of 18 awesome issues today for only $39.95. Don't miss another issue. If you want to play to win, call today, 1-800-458-4145. Call now. Our operators are ready. Remember, this number is for subscription orders only. That's 1-800-458-4145. The Dream Subscription for Nintendo Game Players.